Hi, I'm Jen Saska. And I'm Celia Saska. And, and we're, we're the Twisted, Twisted Twins. Twins. And we're the writer directors of upcoming American Mary. I'm changing specialties, Dr. Grant. Have you ever heard of body modification? And we are here to give you our five favorite horror games. Silent Hill 1 started out, at the first time I played it, it was on a demo disc. They had uh, the original design of the characters and there's these little naked children that had broken glass that would slash you. And uh, they had um, all the right biological parts and then when the game was released it didn't They lost quite their willies. Happen. It was very close to the film, except good. Another one of our favorite games, which I will say, it's not exactly a horror game, but it's based on Garth Ennis's Welcome Back, Frank, from the uh, Punisher series. You get to do horrible things to people. A little arrow appears over their head, and that means you get to torture them, and then you look around to see what you can torture them with. Oh, man, I just crapped my pants. The next one is the classic horror, Resident Evil. No! No, no! Everybody remembers playing that Resident Evil game with the horrible voice acting blood. I hope this isn't Chris's blood. Blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I'll give this to you, this lockpick to the master of unlocking. Here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. The first time you go in, you don't really know. They had like these, this, it was really chintzy. They had like these uh, video captures of these actors that were like Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield. And it was so corny. And then you're going around this mansion where some things happened. And uh, you go around down this, al this uh, corridor and the zombie turns around at you. Imagine if you were a hot cheerleader and you could chop people's limbs off and rainbows would come out and it would be sparkly and you'd have really ridiculous dialogue through the whole thing and you'd feel kind of like you're an acid, but you weren't. That's Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> The next video game is something called Fear Effect. Uh, this started Hannah, Glass, what was the other guy? Deke. And Deke. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk or you'll start to tick, Jim. Now. Who are you waiting for? He's waiting for me. Get her! Hannah's backstory in the first one is that she's a prostitute turned mercenary with her two buddies that are also mercenaries. And people thought, oh wow, Hannah's so sexy. So, of course, the gradual thing that had to happen in the sequel, she's also a lesbian. Obviously. <laughs> That's my girl. But it's all about uh, kind of like Japanese supernatural lives, which is kind of cool because Japanese ghosts are really, really creepy with their tentacles and their whatnot. Honorable mention to Fatal Frame, which is just creepy as fuck to play. <laughs> Did you say five? No, there's one that we haven't mentioned yet. Oh, oh, I know which one it is. Oh, I hope so. Parasite Eve. <laughs> Parasite Eve isn't in as much uh, just like a straight shoot 'em up survival horror, but it's kind of like an RPG as well, mm -hmm. where you level up and you get more powers. And you have it to also get has the new game plus option, so you can play through and then you can play through again, and you can keep your armor and your gun. You get really cool armor by playing New Game Plus and they open up the Chrysler building. But the Chrysler building is actually like 71 stories in that and they have 71 stories and it's a big pain in the ass and the bad guys are super hard and you get like a five minute cutscene at the very end but if you're cool and you're a completist and you need all of that, you definitely should try that out. 
So those are some of our favorite games. In the comments below, you should write some of your favorite horror games because I'm always here cheating and looking for walk walkthroughs. So, and plus I'm super narcissistic, so I'm totally gonna be watching this video again. And speaking of narcissistic, our movie American Mary starring in Catherine Isabel of the Ginger Snips franchise is out right now. So you should check it out and you should get it and you can even send it to us and we'll sign it. Yeah, on DVD and Blu-ray, so get it today.